Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Thanks for watching, and now back to going to uh, Frank and Sons collectible show in Los Angeles. We decided to go to uh, Frank and Sons um, in May of 2021, and uh, right now the the whole uh, building is uh, now available to everybody to come in. There's no more waiting in line. Uh, you do have to wear a mask as well, and there's still social distancing. But um, for the most part, there is no more lines going in. So uh, pretty much everybody can go in. I believe it's at full capacity in Los Angeles. Uh, so we decided to go. Uh, my son decided he wanted to go and buy, or actually not buy, he wanted to sell some uh, Lego minifigures. And uh, a little known uh, secret is that you can sell to those vendors there. They do buy, uh, they do buy the toys, um, but just keep in mind that you're not going to get the price that you're probably going to be wanting. Uh, normally what they do is if you look around and you see that they sell the product that you have, um, if you take a look at the price, figure on uh, pay, uh, them paying you half of that. So say, say for example, if you see it for 20 bucks, they'll probably offer you $10 for um, your toy. So, I mean, if you don't mind uh, selling it for half the price, um, you're more than welcome to sell there. Um, they will pay you cash, which is nice. And you know, it's a little bit uh, a little bit easier than uh, selling it on eBay sometimes. And it's faster and they'll buy it off you. So uh, we did go look around. There's plenty of things to look at. Lots of video games, uh, Funko Pops, baseball cards. It's pretty much a Comic-Con of the West uh, Coast that, that you see that every weekend. So it's, it's a Comic-Con every weekend pretty much i believe they are also open on wednesdays saturdays and sundays um, from what i understand the warehouse is about sixty-five thousand square feet um, it is a former uh, sam's club so now it is uh, converted to a bunch of vendors i'd say there's probably about over 200 vendors there and uh, there's some pretty good things to see um, lots of figurines collectibles um, you can even buy purses stickers you name it, if you're looking for it, you may find it. If you're into the um, collectibles, you will find uh, everything there. Uh, my son did uh, sell his Legos there. Um, he made $135 off probably about 20 Legos, 20 Lego figures. So uh, he does go there. He does sell, especially the Lego minifigures, because they are actually worth something. They have people who sell strictly Legos. Um, I myself personally went and sold a couple of my figures, uh, a couple of Star Wars figures from about 15 years ago, the Star Wars sagas, and I got $35 for uh, two of them. So, I mean, it, it, it can be worth your time. We don't go um, to um, buy things there. We usually go there to sell. And uh, that is the key because you know we don't want to spend any of the money, and the prices there are can be very high. And uh, if you're willing to pay for it, I mean, if you're looking for a hard to find thing in your collection, then this is the perfect place to go. Um, sometimes it's better than uh, eBay because you can get it right then and there. And um, I personally like going there. I mean, it is uh, a lot to see. And uh, again, we don't go there to uh, buy things. Uh, we usually go there to sell so it is uh, worth the time if you have stuff that you want to get rid of and you don't mind uh, you know maybe not getting as much as you'd like but it is a place I would recommend uh, if you wanted to sell it um, the best time to go when you're selling things is probably towards the end close to about three to four o'clock in the afternoon and the reason why I say that is because the vendors pretty much have had all day to uh, uh, sell their stuff and they have money so uh, if you try to go in the morning first thing in the morning uh, they'll usually tell you no because they don't have any money to start out with kind of like a garage sale so anyway um, the best way to do it though like I said is to go in the afternoon and that is the best time to uh, you know for them to buy um, your stuff if you want to sell it um, but like I said if you, um, you have uh, hard to find collectibles um, you can take it to them uh, there's a good 
good number of them will buy stuff if you develop a relationship with some of these vendors they will actually buy every time you come and i have a couple vendors that i go to i've been going there for over 10 years and uh, they've bought hundreds of dollars worth of stuff off of me and uh, again they can be friendly just uh, you can build a rapport with them uh, my son right there he's uh, selling his Legos right there to this woman and she uh, has been buying off my son for ooh, a good year now so uh, my son's made a few hundred dollars easily on Lego minifigures so again I would recommend uh, going to this check it out visit it see what you guys think of this and uh, again Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a suggestion or a comment on a future video. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.